Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Up to midfield. Look at him go inside the 30. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Chargers. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And the Chargers grab the 7-0 lead. So how about that for an intriguing start? The opening kick off of the ball game. Return for a touchdown. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. Leading them out will be the four-time Pro Bowler, the 2010 Comeback Player of the Year. At quarterback, it's the dynamic Michael Vick. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Pressure gets to him and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Malcolm Kuntz, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Two plays so far, a run and a pass attempt, and both have gone backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. Not at all. This is third and long. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Call it a pickup of three and also now likely a punt on their opening drive. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought the punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys would get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense up the offense, now it's their turn to take it downfield. So excellent starting field position here for the Chargers. They'll be led out by one of the most productive QBs in the last decade. It's year 10 for the Fresno Stater now. Here's Derek Carr. It's been fun to watch his development through the years, and right now what you see is a very confident quarterback who has a strong sense of self, totally understands the offense, Touchdown, Tomlinson, 30 yards. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down to score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stuff it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. Extra point by Badgley. Up and good. And that'll make the score. 14 is in. Touchdown, Badgley out there to kick. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. They find themselves in a good size hole here, and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Here's a second and two now from the 33. 
They'll run out of the gun here. Williams. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. A 39-yard punt, a return of five. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And the drive will start with a carry by LaDainian Tomlinson. There he goes left side. He may go. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. LaDainian Tomlinson for their second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Chargers take a three-touchdown lead. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although. Like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that makes the score 21 to zip. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession. But I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. 21-0, our score after one. Steeler football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a third down coming up. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure. And it's a loss of six. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They are not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. A very good kick there, but 15 yards on the return. And the Chargers will be set up pretty well as they take over in great field position. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> Why cool up? Keep everybody here. Let's so stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number. So they got his man complete. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Steve Smith, 29 yards. And the Chargers are able to add on to their first half lead. But it's not too often that you say, hey, this one's going to be over by halftime. And, C.D., I know our bosses probably don't want us to say that because they don't want people clicking away. But this one might be over by halftime. And since you've already put your job on the line by actually saying it, I will co-sign and go with you because you're my partner. We don't mean to do it, but this game has been exactly as you've described. I see no hope for them going forward. 
Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that makes the score 28 to nothing. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Steelers' offense now, they head back onto the field. They're still in. Initial first down as they come up here first and 10. Off the play fake, Vic rolling to his left. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. He'll get just a yard up. Second down. Here's Michael Vick. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. The Steelers send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. This is brought in at the 21. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And they will take over first and 10. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. And that's not a play that you see all that often at the start of a drive, but some teams, they don't mind doing it. And that one, well sold by the offensive linemen. They showed the pass, and then they got out into space, able to get some good blocks downfield and allow the play to be successful. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now. Might have fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. Steve Smith, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Chargers will extend their lead in the final minute of the Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. Now he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Just a four-play drive that time, and it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. The Steelers taking over now late in this first half. Well, things for them, just to put it bluntly, man, it has been tough sledding here in the first half, facing that big deficit. The clock is dwindling now. Maybe if they can get something on the board here before intermission, they'll have at least a little momentum heading into the second half. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. This will be the final play of the half. Vic, screen play set up for Williams. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. 
That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Steelers going to get the football first here, trailing on the scoreboard as we are back underway on EA Sports. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Steeler offense ready to get going to begin this third quarter. And they have a mountainous deficit looming in front of them. It was really, Charles, a disaster of a first half. So where do they go from here? The well, first thing they have to remember is that what's done is done, and there's no going back. And now you have to play this drive by drive. Obviously, come back in this spot, pretty unlikely. But you still have to go out, take pride in your work, and try and put something together here in the second half. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. At this point, I think it's a surprise when he isn't close to being sacked on a passing down. The amount of times he's hit the deck today, I think a lot of us are reading safety before they even took the snap. Simply a merciless pass rush every step of the game, and that rush earns a crowning achievement there. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. And Steve Smith trotting back onto the field. Not a bad day at the office there. Maybe he would like the catch number to go up a little bit, but I think most guys would say two catches, two touchdowns, eh, that's okay. I think if the catch number goes up, we start talking about the record books because at that pace, this type of efficiency. Down the numbers, there he goes. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Third touchdown pass now for Derek Carr. And the Chargers extend their lead yet again. Teams always want to send messages. I think that was quite a statement there to start the third quarter. Yeah, less than a minute in. Already that quick, long strike. They are setting the tone for the second half. Badgley on for the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. They certainly made quick work of that. Ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see. Just one play resulting in the touchdown. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outline. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. That throw by Vic incomplete. And you can tell just by looking at them that this offense is a frustrated unit. Things are really unraveling here, and as a head coach, time to earn your paycheck. You've got to find a way to keep it together as that brings up another fourth down. So a change of possession here on the punt, and that will come the offense as they take over. L.A. set to take over again on offense. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. To throw its car. Oh, and that is incomplete. 
We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Throwing his car on third down. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown, Allen! Making four touchdown passes now for Derek Carr. And the Chargers have widened the gap now to 50 points. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm... now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary a clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game extra point by Badgley up and good and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter following the touchdown Badgley out there to kick it away And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. And now out come the Steelers. Well, the disparity in this game, it just seems to grow with each possession here, Charles. They are really struggling. They have not put up a single point, and on the other side, the points keep piling up and up and up. So you know the frustration level has to be rising, right? So they've got to find a way to quell that, because otherwise, they certainly won't get anything done in this one. Keep diving deeper into the offensive playbook. But bottom line is, don't quit competing. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. First carry for James Conner. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. The Steelers send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He'll take it at the 42. Powering his way forward. A very good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. The car's throw caught here by Metcalf. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back through the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. So to say, we have been disappointed watching their execution throughout this contest. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, 
We've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests. But in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, no, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a charger TD. And not only is this defense pitching a shutout, now they're contributing points themselves, and they have really put together what's almost been a perfect effort here in this one. I love how you express that. They've absolutely exceeded expectations in this one, and even better than their play, it's been their effort. Even with the win in their back pocket already, every one of those guys is still out there fighting like it's a tie game. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just held on to that big lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Well, I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film session tomorrow. If you get any type of points on the board, it'll count as a moral victory, although no one will talk about that in the post-game press conference. That's not something you mentioned in the NFL. And this loss, it already stings and will for a while, but everyone on that offense knows it'll sting a lot worse if they don't put some points up on the board. The throw on second down for Vic, incomplete. The Steelers on third down. They're struggling. 0 for 6 thus far. This is third and 10. Vic to throw it. And that is incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. The Steelers send out their punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. And take it right on the 30. Sheds off the tackle. An excellent return that time. 26 yards. And we have reached the two-minute warning. Well, after he punted that ball, he's probably frustrated that they had a sizable return against his punt, but he made amends by stepping up to make the tackle. Yeah, he made amends and probably... Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper. Into the end zone for the touchdown. Following the touch. Actually out there to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. At this point, partner, things looking pretty bleak. They still haven't scored here in the fourth quarter, facing the big deficit. I just, what silver linings, what can they look to do here offensively? You know, it's funny. I talked about this with a coach in the offseason and kind of have this scenario, like what feels good to you and what feels good to your team. You're down big. You really have like one possession left and you're trying to put points on the board that don't matter, but do they? And he told me they actually do matter. And in this situation, he's gonna try and run the best offense he can run, have at least a little bit of confidence to take away from that game. So right now, they're gonna try their best to get something up on the board and not get shut out. On third down, Vic. And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. The Steelers send out their punter now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. Fielded at the 43. 
It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. Well, CD, you and I do a lot of games together, but it is pretty rare that we do a game of this margin. I mean, this has just been total domination from start until now, and I don't think they're going to take their foot off the gas at this point. Do you think that on the sideline, some jokester said to one of his teammates, maybe a few of them, hey, we're up 50. Why not go for 100? You think maybe that line was uttered on the sideline? I can't believe what we're seeing here. An NFL game this lopsided. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They stay on the ground. Tomlinson fighting through it. He's got space. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They moved it a combined 33 yards. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Now Toblin set on first and 10. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. That's Aiden Hutchinson. He was determined to blow that play up, but he sure did. On second down, it's Toblinson. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass, let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Badgley on for the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So that drive spanned five plays, and it's all capped off on the touchdown run by Ladanian Tomlinson. And this taken in at the goal line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jerome Pat. 